final game of the night, of course, we do have a uh, giveaway that we're going to be doing after this game. I'll explain how it goes down afterwards. You didn't miss much piano, Mr. Shortner's Piano Man. Uh, ooh, immediately, Zoe, the first ban away. That's going to tilt ice just a little bit. G Deadless, what up, my man? You need to check in the last game. We had a Camille 1v5 Baron Steel. It was mind blowing. Oh, he was originally gonna play with Nong Nong, but had to go to bed. I understand it is getting fairly late. Trust me, it's super late for myself already, but we're gonna be casting this game because we gotta get everybody through as much as possible. Ice has been tilted all night. And honestly, there's a, it's a possibility to tilt uh, someone on the enemy team. I think Otter, isn't that like a, oh, he's talking to somebody. Uh, Kha'Zix getting banned away by Team Hot Dogs, taking the assassin in the jungle off of the uh, table, as well as Kaisa being banned away by Team Swarm, so a little extra void banned away there. Piano throwing out the Pog Champ emotes, which I gotta love. Gotta love. Thank you, Piano, for, for dropping by, for hanging out, for keeping the chat really hyped up. Darius, the final ban from Team Hot Dogs in this first ban phase. So that means Ryan has a lot of power picks that he can grab. There's Urgot on the table. There is uh, Rise on the table. Okay, good, sir. Hey, Otter is back. So let me ask you this. Isn't that some strategy that uh, some teams employ, which is to tilt one person on the enemy team? get them to yeah. basically rage quit the game, even if they're still playing, they just attitude-wise are done, and then actually win the game off of that? There's a pro player that's at Worlds currently that I've been hearing about. Uh, I knew I heard about it before, but it came up again when I was watching last night. He plays for the Direwolves named Surefire. He's a very emotional player, and if you come up against somebody who's very emotional like that, it's fairly easy to tilt them if you can uh, either put them behind earlier or put put people behind early and it makes it really hard for them to come back they kind of start to get in their own heads a little bit um and we could see that either through some pick ban phase where you target ban one single person's champion pool makes it really hard to pick what they want to play and uh yeah and if you're going to tilt them in game by camping them or invading the jungle through the jungler putting them behind makes it really hard for them to come back if they don't have that yeah sure and fire see shredder knows what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah all right ryan grabs the lee sin and neb picking up the cho'gath echo the third pick for team swarm as well so a little bit of engage a little bit of tank when we worry about that cho'gath is it takes him a while to truly come online, he's got to get at least an item or two. It's more about that 15 minute mark that he starts to get tanky. But post that point, he can really destroy. <laughs> get me out of this game, please, Ban. Who's <laughs> JN? Jungle. I, J oh, Jungle, maybe? No, I'm excited to see this. Let's do it. Let's do it, Jungle Cat, Caitlyn. Oh my gosh! I just realized we've got really Cat playing Cat in the jungle, and we have Nong Nong at bot lane, so okay. we know something's gonna happen. This is actually serious. It is Catinator's Caitlyn? I talked about it previously. It wasn't banned away. It is really good, and I'm excited to see what he can do against this team. The as idea? the Great Misha Sharp grabs the Yasuo, most likely for the top lane, could be for another lane as double ADCs band for Costa. Team Hot Dogs continuing to pinch the bottom side for Team Swarm. They've got another ban, and I don't think they're aware yet that, yet that Caitlyn is actually going to be playing in the jungle, so they're banning junglers, which is a nice uh, little bit of twist there. Got yeah, nice flex. Left. There it is, yeah, a chain. Interesting flex. Like you normally see something like Camille or, or possibly a Vladimir, but you're going to pull out the Caitlyn flex it. Oh, yes. So we're excited to see what does Xeno play on the bottom side. We could go for another AP route. Could go for... Oh, wait. Wait. Is it going to be Xeno grabbing a top lane, like a tank, like an Orn or something, and then Yasuo Lulu in the bottom lane? It's Nong Nong in the AD carry position. Oh, no, wait, Nami. no. Immediately lock in the Nami. Okay, so it's going to be... Probably a Lulu Nami double support bottom lane with Orion in the mid lane, Yasuo in the top, and Caitlyn in the jungle. 
Guys, this is the spicy game that we need as Braum, Lucian, the final two picks. That's a really powerhouse comp by Team Swarm on the bottom lane. Guys, how do we even analyze these teams? You got like true meta here. Cho'Gath, Lee Sin, Echo, Lucian, Braum. That's a fantastic team composition from a normal meta standpoint. And then for Team Hot Dogs, it's like, a, it's like what's the ingredients in a hot dog. It's a little bit of everything. You got Yasuo, <laughs> Caitlyn, Oriana, Lulu, Nami. I mean, what is going on with this composition? Ah. We'll figure it out in a minute because we got to roll through the players and their champions. So Ryan taking the Cho'Gath in the top lane for Team Swarm, and E B or Neb himself. See, it's backwards Ben playing the Lee Sin in the jungle, never say forever, taking the Echo in the mid lane, Snipetality back once again, but this time playing the Lucian, Steezy Doinks on the Braum in the supportive role. And for the side of Team Hot Dogs, we have the great Mishka playing Yasuo in the top lane, and Cat Knight jungle. Excellency Ice playing Oriana in the mid lane, Nong Nong playing Lulu in the bottom lane. I'm just gonna go with that because I don't think he's gonna go AD, but we'll see. It's Nong Nong, you never know. And Excellency, you know, playing Nami in the support or roll. These champions down, we'll see if they could take this. Cheese. I want, I'm interested to see because their team is entirely squishy. Yeah. If Yasuo goes, the standard build, they're all very squishy into a Lee Sin, an Echo, a Lucian, and a Cho'Gath. So we'll see what, how they can play this team fights. If Yasuo doesn't get ahead, I think this team's in a lot of trouble. The, the main thing for Team Hot Dogs that I'm seeing is they need to start early and snowball so darn hard because Cho'Gath past 15 is going to be unstoppable his feast going to just tear through Nami or Lulu and Lucian Braum is so good at being able to layer CC stun 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 the main thing that I've seen on this Caitlyn by Catnator in the jungle is the trap placement which can be extremely strong into a Lee Sin because he can't take his uh sonic wave after even after he lands it until the trap expires which gives caitlin free headshots the other thing is that you're in the jungle so she's going to be resetting those headshots in bushes a lot i've seen this caitlin 1v1 junglers before and what i actually don't want to see from team swarm is neb going into caitlin's jungle and the reason why is that early game is going to be so powerful for catnator getting those crit shots off if Lee Sin instead focuses towards the lanes, focuses on farming, and again, Team Swarm don't get too far ahead of themselves, just scale and scale and scale, don't get caught up in any crazy early fights, they should be able to win it. However, if Team Hot Dogs can force fights, especially with Roams from Orianna to the bottom lane with Caitlyn as well, two supports with shields and heals with an Orianna Caitlyn trying to dive to finish off a Lucian or a Braum could be really good for Team Hot Dogs if they get that Roam. We'll see what they decide to do. I want to see if Great Mishka can punish this Cho'Gath his early game. And both not very good early game champions, but he also can do a lot more damage to his Cho'Gath than Cho'Gath back. And we'll see if they put some pressure towards him in the top lane and try and punish him, try and put him behind early so he doesn't become a huge late game threat. They do have a great mix of damage, technically. They have an Ori mid with AP and then the two heavy 80s with Cat Yasuo. We'll see what Nongang decides to do. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure couple of builds you can come out of Lulu. There's always opportunity for a wombo combo. You're looking at a Nami bubble into an Oriana shock waves pulling and knocking everyone up for a last breath from Yasuo. That's a lot of uh, long-term CC in addition to a massive amount of damage, but they really need to land that perfect combo if you want to win a late game fight because Cho'Gath with the Warmogs and Sunfire Cape, I mean, you're just not going to do that much to this guy. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I think the early game is going to be very important teams um, not to fall too far behind and hopefully snowball their teams because Cho'Gath is a great snowballing laner, or snowballing laner and so is Echo, along with Lee Sin and Lucid. So we'll just see. They all hit making power spikes and Cho'Gath because it's a late game. Just tanky threat that uh, is very tough to get rid of and tough to deal with. Tough to deal with indeed. We'll see if they have what it takes to be able to get through this game. Team default versus team. Uh, I'm going to forget the name now. 
Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Thank you. That's right. I changed it myself. All righty. Ooh, somebody's representing Gambit. Who's that? Get out of here. Cannonator, get, get, get out of here. There this is an NA go. friendly zone. NA friendly zone. Zeno. <laughs> Zeno's on what's up. Zeno and Ryan, 100 Thieves and Cloud9. I like it. Take your Gambit icon out of here. <laughs> I actually am warm? supporting uh, Liquid. That's the team that I, I decided to go. I know the C9 uh, what? will probably uh, win Worlds, but... I, I went for Liquid. I gotta support my main man, Double. I have hope for 100D. We'll see. I think they being. all have a decent shot depending on. Um, well, they're gonna get spotted by the ward. Getting out of groups. Team Torm right, was the so only team invade. in these games to go for an invade before, and they're gonna try and do another one, but they got spotted by the ward. Oh, the bolt doesn't land. Oh. They just get the ward down, they back away, they know that they're seen. But they don't know this ward is in here, though. Who placed that? Uh, Xeno did, I believe. That was really, oh, no. really good yeah, to, board. to drop, get that vision, and then immediately back off as well. So, invade, <laughs> spotted, and backed away from nothing too crazy. Hey, piano, liquid. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I. They had such a bad fan. spring, and their summer was okay, and and they did win. A bad spring. They got first in both. <laughs> but no, but it's just their their early showing. Okay. Oh, and the MSI didn't look very good either. They spent like a bajillion dollars to get what was supposed to be the most OP team NA has ever seen designed to destroy a world. And yet, despite even the fact that they won, they didn't win first in spring. They won second because 100 Thieves won first, which is why 100 Thieves is in groups. Uh, but in regular season. It's in the spring split. They got, they got first place. Yeah, they beat 100 Thieves 3 out of the final. Yeah, so I said 100 Thieves won first place in spring. No, no, and Team then Liquid, Liquid won first place. Well, then who won first place in summer? Liquid as Team well? Liquid, they both won, yeah, they won two in a row. Both 3 0s. 100%. Chat can confirm. Okay. They beat 100 Thieves 3 0 in spring, and then they beat Cloud 9 3 0 in. Well, color me Check impressed then. <laughs> but then they went to MSI and lost in groups, so I don't... Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. We'll see how they do. We'll see anyway, how they do. The least did steal the red buff from Adnator, which is going to be putting him far behind. He will try and get three buffs from this. Liquid one belt, see? Woo! I got big sport on lockdown. There we go. <laughs> I think I got on lockdown. Great Mishka in the top lane, trading. Dashing back and forth. Let's see if Lucian tries to get some play in the top. I think they spot Catnator on this war that's sitting in the river. Great for them, they know B. And so they can play around that. Uh, Lucian can try and get a gank towards the top side of the map without having a chance of counter gank. And they know they can play aggressive. Great Mission is just pushed super far forward. I like to see if Lucian goes for the gank onto this Yasuo. Oh, he's pinged out. He gets spotted by the ward from Great Mishka. Good war in the river to spot him out. I don't think he knows it, so he's gonna try and go like that, walk back and forth. Yeah, never oh, say never. He knows now. He does the emote. Drop down to about a quarter, so <laughs> play defensively in the mid lane. Pl piano. Now I'm disappointed because uh, I was incorrect, and you're right. This is why <laughs> I am the play by play, not the color caster. There's reasons. But as it is, Caitlyn keeping up and farm against the Lee Sin, now invading. On that Lee Sin, who's oh, he's gonna find the red, entire top side. And it looks like Caitlyn should be able to pick away the red buff from the Lee Sin. There are pings though. They were able to see Caitlyn hit that scrying plant, so they know that that's happening. Is Nong Nong playing the AD carry Lulu on the bottom side? Pretty exciting to see what this Lulu can do. Caitlyn oh, can should be able trouble. to pick up the red buff. Oh wait! Oh, that smited. Oh, smited away. Lee Sin. Now he's gonna find Catinator. This is not good. The flash from Caitlyn. Oh, the heal! No, no, no! no. Over the wall. The shield as well. The polymorph onto Lee Sin. They've kept Catinator alive. Ryan's low in the top lane. The silence onto the Yasuo. He flashes forward. He gets the tornado. First blood to the green. Mishka in the top lane. On the bottom side. Nice Katnator bubble. Getting jumped on. He's oh, ignited. Snipe Tality picks up one, but he's going to drop himself. Lulu picks up the kill and. 
now, oh, sorry, Nami picking up the kill. Lulu being slowly oh, burned down. Snipe Tally oh. with a shield gets a trade, and Nong Nong picks up the kill. Brom in trouble. Steezy Doinks has to find a way to avoid being seen Thunder and get tower. out of the bottom side or can oh, the flash. execute. The flash forward from Nami to make sure that execute is not going to go through. And it's suddenly a four, key, four to one kill game. A yeah, great collapse from the bottom lane. I'm surprised that. that Content to just sit and fight each other. Did not show, uh, come down to that fight. But great collapse. The bottom lane picks up three kills in that fight and uh, we'll turn that fight around. What do you mean? ADC one Lulu. That was the AP Nami 2 0 and 1. Obviously, AP Nami carry support, though. Oh, anyway. Ball, yep. Vorpal oh my strike. gosh, he's Gonna super low. Great Mishka. He goes in, he gets the kill. This is a second kill. And this is what I talked about early of the Cho'Gath is so susceptible and so squishy in the early game. It's not until he's able to pick up an item or two that he really starts to get to that tank level that you want. And with no help from the jungle, Yasuo is just soloing him again and again. Now 2-0 and 0 in that top lane. This is what Team Hot Dogs is going to want for this. Yasuo, if they can get him to keep getting these advantage, getting these kills in the top lane, it's going to be threat and very tough to deal with throughout the mid game of this uh, of Fort. Team Swarm will see if they can pick up some kills either in the top lane to try and shut him down or move the map, move the pressure back to the mid lane, back to the bottom lane and see what they can do or if they can pick up an advantage for Lucian or the Echo. Alright, Kaylin invading once again on the top side. It's a scrying orb. Doesn't see the Lee Sin, but knows that the Wolves and Grump are up. So we could see some potential fighting on that top side. It is a Wind Drake early on in the game, so nothing too exciting to note on there. It would be great for the Caitlyn, especially for Oh, he gets spotted invades. by you. So they know that Caitlyn's here, but she's got a blast cone to hop herself to safe for the moment. Neb continues to chase in. Yasuo around the corner. It could be a 2v2, but Lee Sin decides to back the winner. Yeah, it's interesting. Good job by Cat. Kind of risky on a camp. Ooh. An AD carry. Good bubble there. Lands on a Brom. But uh, risky on an ADC in the jump, especially into a Lee Sin. A lot of burst damage. But spots him out with a war and able to back out using the blast cone. <laughs> Blue team saving grace, the level 4 Caitlyn. Well, we'll find <laughs> out. As she is level 4 to Leeson's level 5, is going to get her red buff. Yeah, now it's level 5, Caitlyn! She's OP! She's too strong! Over 9,000, maybe. Damn, it's probably done in this game. As, uh, yeah, red team still doing strong, pushing the bottom side, Ooh. bottom Last lane right. back a little bit. But Leeson coming to the top side. Yasuo dashing two minions to try to escape. There's a fight engaging oh, on the bottom bubble. side. Bubble lands onto the Brom after the Unbreakable has already gone down. So it looks like Brom is going to be breakable after all. And the ADC Lulu picks up a second kill. Yeah, and the Leeson putting that, bringing that pressure up the top side, but not able to find anything. Just gonna back out. Great mix is still voice being gonna keep the pressure up on Orion. He's he's down 30 CS. At least managed to get some. It's not could be worse. I think the big thing to look at is this mid lane. This echoes down 30 CS into the range matchup. And Leeson, I would like to see more pressure. He's in this matchup against the Caitlyn, who's not gonna be able to gank as much as he is but he's still not finding the ganks he needs, and all his lanes are losing. Caitlyn, obviously a terrible jungler, requires the support of a Nami to come in and heal the Caitlyn, keep her up so she can finally hit level six. I mean, this is why you don't play Caitlyn 80 or jungle. Oh, one, one terrible score line from Catnator <laughs> on this, this Caitlyn. Hits level six, required the Nami. I mean, Guys, why is Catnary even playing this game? Yeah, exactly. Gromp's stronger than Caitlyn. OP. OP. No. <laughs> mid, this mid lane four. He's got a 30 C or oh yeah, 34 CS lead right now. Over yeah. the Echo. The farm from this team is so good and so clean. A lot of it off of that early game pressure. But they're trying to continue to keep up, harassing the Echo in the mid lane, continuing to force him to recall as he's losing out farm a little bit here, a little bit there. He is over level six now, hit that level seven. So he has his ultimate if necessary to be able to try to make a play happen. Lee Sin on his bottom bread side, but Caitlyn, of course, on the opposite side of the map. Near that top side is the great Mishka, forcing the Cho'Gath off of the turret, decides to fight him, dashing through, just gonna proxy the wave. I'd like to point out this, uh, from the blue side, from Team Swarm, they have great vision control on this bottom side of the map. Three, you see three controllers around this dragon pit. 
So if uh, the side of Team Hot Dogs want to go for it, they either need to pick or need to make a play to clear out this vision. Oh, but Nami bubble lands the bubble onto Braum. We'll see if anything more happens because there's a little bit of action on the oh. top side. <gasps> the unbreakable wall from Braum, nicely used to stop the Nami ultimate. Really good positioning there. Oh, and Lee Sin coming in the mid lane might find a pick on the ice. Oh, patting the top lane. Oh, gets over the wall with a flash. In the meantime, mid lane, the stun from the... Oh. oh, tries to get the shockwave to finish off Echo, but can't quite do it. So will be dropped. It was so close for the Lee Sin kick to get Oriana into the stun from the Echo. A little bit short, but they still had plenty of damage. In the meantime, the stun onto the Lulu in the bottom lane. The AD carry, Lulu gets some good damage. Uses the wild growth on herself. The color going to come through. Gets some pretty good damage on Zeno as well. The Ignite taking away forces the snipe tality back and the turret so we'll see if nami's healing can keep the two on the bottom side healthy enough for them to keep this pressure up both of them super low that was a little unlucky there from right for their back when he caught cat meter the feast just didn't get enough to finish him off and doesn't get the sack that he much needs right now but they did burn the flash on the caitlin so next time caitlin shows herself it's gonna be a little bit easier to take out that jungle <clears throat> Jungle. <laughs> anyway, uh, is head towards the bottom side. We'll see if there's some action down Ooh, here as him. Neb comes to the top side. Great Mishka. Oh, great little. Oh, oh. Uh, I love that emote too. Soraka on fire. That was a about three man gank. His echo was up there as well. <laughs> the double support cat. <laughs> this looks like a, a, something you wouldn't normally see, but. Uh, obviously, the AD carry Caitlyn, you know, is supported by the jungle Lulu. Um, okay, this, that's even worse. <clears throat> Pressure onto the turret. That's what jungle I'm hitting at this moment. <laughs> As uh, no, do not jungle Nami, please. <laughs> Save yourself. I'd rather ADC Nami, which I did Great once, than uh, than jungle Nami. Oh, in the mid lane. Echo in the mid drops ice down to about half. He's dropped to half himself though. Never save forever. Just continues to get harassed out. But he does have the ultimate. Oh, it's it's here. Here. Watch Watch the may happen. Lee Sin headed around to the oh. side, though. Great Nami ultimate hits three, but Lee Sin still goes to the back line, finds the kick onto the Nami. She flashes oh, to save herself. Neb in trouble, forced to shield himself back underneath the turret to stay alive, as Yasuo should be able to pick up this top lane turret with another couple of hits. Oh. There it is, and Lulu actually oh. chases him down to get first turret on the bottom side. So quick two turrets over to red team, never save forever, forced back once again underneath the turret on the bottom side. Great Mishka picking up his third kill of the game on that top side and red team team the cloud hot dogs is just destroying this game they're picking them apart all over the map not able to get that pressure uh, in either of the or uh, any of these lanes to be honest in mid lane keeping a huge cs lane on uh 60 cs currently and the bottom lane is still winning a 30 cs lead for this lulu over the evolution and the top lane has almost a 60 cs lead so it's just falling apart for team swarm right now although echo still does a lot of damage doesn't really need that cs to do that damage so oh nice boring. stunned up immediately pops the barrier trying to stay alive here comes steezy into the mid lane as well echo's got good damage good but they, can they save ice oh. he gets healed up steezy's underneath the turret he's gonna drop he's extremely low the great mishka chasing him mishka. gets the last little bit of damage flashes forward oh once my the tornado goodness. he gets two double kill to the Yasuo, and now all five members are here to push Still down the turret. Oh. The siege from this team, the ADC Lulu and the Caitlyn, is going to be huge on the mid lane turret, which is already at half. Rift Herald available as well if they decide to rotate towards it. I'll stay close to my mic, I just don't want to be too loud. Oh, you're, you're fine. You I'll drop you down if you uh, start to make people's ears yeah. bleed. <laughs> that was a what crazy was fight there. Yeah, Great man. play to save ice. Oh, it's a lot of trap, this Ryan. It takes a lot of damage. Great play to save Ice and Mishka on this Yasuo is 5-0-0, doing incredible amounts of damage, just super far ahead of his laner. And this is what I was talking about earlier. If they get this Yasuo ahead, it's just going to be game over very quickly. Oh. Okay, they're trying to make the engage on the cat and they need one more auto attack to find the stun. They can't quite do it. Colin comes through, but it doesn't land on anybody. Steezy's extremely Bob, low. Lulu's gonna be able to trade it up. Cat and oh, can the kill. Up. He's dropped extremely low. He's finally going to drop the bubble onto the Ryan Singh Tower. Is doing the best he can flashes away from the choke. He Michigan. does able to get the trade for one, two for one so far. Actually, is the trade in from the uh, the teleport in from Yasuo. Nong Nong gonna get jumped up by oh, the Oh my goodness! Before he gets kicked back. 
can never say forever now on the run as the great Mishka chases in, wind walls the minions, or the Lu Lu uh, Lucian if he's trying to chase him. Oh, and he's Echo in trouble now. On the run. I think it was actually a cue from the Echo. Oh, the, the stun! Wind -walled. The stun's gonna come through. Great Mishka's gonna turn and attack the Lucian because he's got no mana. Can't make a trade two for one, though, as the mid lane turret is going to drop. That was such a good pong one from Nongai. Uh, Neb went for that kick, you see him ward hopping, but as soon as he gets to the ward, land, gets polymorphed and just gets melted by Mishka. Does get taken down though. Great shutdown going over to Echo. 800. He's gonna bring this back for him. He already is doing a lot of damage, and now it's almost evened up that mid lane advantage that Ice had created with the CS. Yeah, and it was really good from Yasuo to recognize, rather than trying to chase in onto the Echo, which you probably would have just been finished off anyway, instead to go for the Lucian, who's right there with no mana, just a couple of auto attacks is all he had, and get at least one kill before he went down himself. And I, if I check back, I'm pretty sure he windwalled backwards to stop the Echo Q that went out behind him. It goes through you once, and then on the way back, it slows you a heavy amount. So he walled behind him to keep that Echo Q from slowing him so he could continue to chase in. But either way, bunch of gold over to the Echo from the mid lane, 13 kills to four, a whopping 7,000 gold lead. We'll see what else Team Hot Dogs has in store. Oh, see if they can make a play. They're taking Rift Shelter now, it looks like. Tommy and uh, Caitlyn here. Caitlyn Jungle. Mm -hmm. Can't remember myself. As soon as he and Tommy and Caitlyn, I'm like, oh, you're carrying something. Oh, no. right, Ryan pushed out in that top side. Rift Herald going to be picked up. A jungle Catinator going to be able to grab that. Oh. As uh, Echo wants to find an engage on to Nong. Oh, good Nong is there as well. Here comes Yasuo on top of all of it. Throws up the wind wall, but that's fairly early. They're going to Oh, Ryan might be in trouble Ryan here now. Get the slow down as well. Play of the Ruined King going to be enough to be able to help finish him off. In the meantime, the the one v one v three trying to get away. Has the double buffs as well. Positioning around those traps. Nami ultimate use just forces the members of blue team out. Red buff slowing down Echo. He's got the dash. Can he get out? Leeson coming in. He's landed the Another Sonic Wave. We'll see if he oh follows it. He does, but he still goes down. That's going to be two members knocked out with Glacial Fisher, but Snipetality's already fallen. And now the Braum and the Echo on the wrong side of the map because ADC Lulu's pushing top lane and they are going to be chased out. Zeno, like in the support of this. Nami just keeps <laughs> Echo from backing. Decides instead to clear a control board after being slowed down. Cho'Gath has respawned. We'll see if Lulu can pick up the turret. I don't think so. Oh, no. Zeno. Nope. Oh, except he's down here a little too much. Oh, Ice in a little bit of trouble, but Katten is here with the damage and just going to continue to poke away. Never say forever going to be run down by the red buff. That's all that the Katinator needed. Oh, Auto attacks it down, and Ice steals away the kill onto Braum. And because Cho'Gath went to try to head oh, to stop the Yasuo, Nung Nung gets his own turret on the bottom side, now speed boosting himself away. This is kind of like the, um, was it Skara or Dyrus that played top lane Lulu way top back lane. in the day? Yeah, it was Dyrus. Dyrus is Dyrus famous to play top lane Lulu. Lulu, but now it's an AD he would AP, Lulu. He would AP attack speed, yeah. And this is just crazy how well this team is taking a composition that shouldn't do work and making it work. A lot of it is off of, though, the great Mishka's Yasuo. 9, 1, and 0. Nothing oh, can stand against this guy. As Cat made oh, it 1v1, he finds the crit strike and... Oh no, the like flash! Flash doesn't go through. Oh. He finds another trap, though, but it doesn't matter. Lee Sin had the last little bit of damage to finish off the Caitlyn. Very close. Very close. Quick flash in place there. I'll watch it back. Wait. Nami ultimate. Nope. That's just going to be ward hop by the Lee Sin to get out. Oriana around the corner, but it's now 2v3 as three oh, Echo. members of Blue Team coming in. Echo coming in as well. Make it four. They find the Oriana. Going to take her down. Now Zeno oh, in trouble. Cullen going to come through. Burning this Nami down. She gets the speed boost. Avoids the uh, oh, good Q. From yeah, Winter's bite from the Brom. He's just gonna have to uh, walk his way. Actually, he's still chasing down. Now finds a Lulu. Not sure that's exactly who he wanted. Lucian coming in though, tag teaming him. He's As trying three to get this members are pushing the mid lane for a red side. We trying to get that bot tower with Echo. There, are, we see Lucian and good play from them to try and realize or realize that if they go for that bot tower, they're gonna lose another in. Echo will still try and take it as we have four members here to defend. 
There's Mishka and the two supports. <laughs> All right, so Cho'Gath still having yet to complete his first item of the game. Oh it's just going to be chopped through. Great Misha on a killing spree once again in the mid lane. Nami showing up to help him walk away. Oh, they didn't get bot tower. saves the pot of lane turret, forcing Echo to back away as the great Mishka, the great carry for the side of Team Hot Dog. Ooh, Catenator oh, versus Kenneth. Never Say Forever. He's underneath the turret, taking a lot of shots. Alt backwards, but Caitlyn's in position to throw a couple more auto attacks. He needs to oh, avoid the, the trap. He still hits the trap. Anyway, Caitlyn's gonna walk forward. Oh, oh the Chris Strike throws the ultimate, and that's it! Ace in the hole from Catenator finishes off Echo in a 1v1. <laughs> Caitlyn jungles showing up. Any more Mimi than that right there. As oh, the nice Mason kick. Gets the kick onto Oriana, but she's Wild healed growth. and shielded oh and everything. The wild growth keeps her up and alive. Yasuo's not here joining the oh, fight. You know. now shows up. Oh, it's going to be Snipetality finishing off Nami with the help of the Braum as well. Uh, wait, Yasuo wind wall and then hops back onto the Cho'Gath, takes him out, Oriana around the oh wall, the last breath onto Braum, finishes him off. That's the spawn of Caitlyn Rift Herald to get the charge in the second tier turret. 80 carry Lulu pushing two members back. Caitlyn finishes off the minions. Bottom one second tier <laughs> turret's going to fall, and the gold continues to just balloon out of control. 12k, 12K gold lead now. They still haven't gotten a single turret out of Team Swarm this game. Seven turrets to zero, and they're about to get two more and go for an inhib. And there is going to be open inhibs across the entire base. There's a Rift top lane still inhibitor alive. open. Rift Herald gets a last slam onto the inhibitor. This should be able to finish it off. It's never oh going to take forever. Goodness. It's going to be finished off by Catenator once again. The rest of the team there, though, helped out this time, getting some assists and perfect timing from Shelly to get the last hit, taking out the inhibitor. So one inhibitor down on the side of team swarm and they are just in so much trouble down over 15,000 gold mountain drake getting picked up by red team as well they've got everything that they need to finish this game off yeah 23 to 8 a catenator on this caitlin sitting on 2400 gold right now on his back at 1500 on the 80 lulu we'll see what they end up picking up but this next time team fight is going to be explosive i i don't really know if team swarm can do much. They don't really have an answer for the great Mishka, or at least for the two supports. Oh, he gets a catch on the Ryan. Oh, can we see great Mishka being able to get a kill or be great. killed himself as he's in three? The Nami bubble's not going to do that much. And it is going to be the Asura dropping down. Now Nami going to fall as well. Zuno trying to get run away, but double kill to the Braum. Oh, no. He oh, gets both no, shut down goals. Indeed. Goal. Steezy Doinks double shut down gold now sitting on 1300 gold imagine that on any of the other carries that would have been so nice instead though the Brom just going to be giving his life over to the Baron uh, actually throws up unbreakable against the Baron as Nong Nong on the AD carry Lulu forces Neb to back away on this bottom oh. side it's a 5v4 though Ice getting some pretty good amount of damage Echo just doing what he can as Neb comes in looking for someone to kick. Doesn't have flash available though, so he's gonna have to use a ward hop. Oh, there he goes, ward hop, but can't find the kick onto the Caitlyn though, so he's gonna be dropped. Not gonna fix up the Rampage. Glitter Lance <laughs> not gonna find the slow onto the Lucian or the Cho'Gath, but there's the teleport in from the Yasuo into the base. He's gonna be taking out the Nexus turrets. In the meantime, it's all about stopping the backs. Is never safe forever. Finds the stun onto the Oriana, oh but still goodness. gets dropped. Ice picks up Mishka. the kill. Mishka in the base takes out a second tier turret. Ryan just throwing out right. the Cho'Gath <laughs> laughs on his beautiful. Beautiful skin. There's the Soraka sticker emote. Uses last <laughs> breath as well. Little disrespectful. A Nami ultimate as or not ultimate, but uh, I don't even remember. Redemption wow. as well, and that's the game. That's the game. Steezy doing to lives to see the Nexus explode. Team Hot Dogs pulls out the meme dream team and uh, finishes the stream off in style as uh, despite Team Swarm winning their first game, they're now to a 1-1 on the stream. We're gonna have to think about how that game went down as we switch to our post-game stream. And guys, if you would do me a huge favor, jump into the straw polls, check them out, give your vote as to which team you think win. Uh, we got a lot more going on. We shoutcast, Ben every thursday 
but we don't always do team games. Sometimes it's just individuals. Sometimes I play with the stream. Thursdays are kind of our, our pick of the week. So if you jump on the Discord and just kind of stay connected, um, we'll keep you guys updated as to, to what goes on. There will be shoutcasting tomorrow. Is that not correct, Otter? Uh, tomorrow's Friday. I'll do it Saturday. Oh, Saturday. I'm sorry. <sighs> yes, you're yeah. right. Okay, Saturday is going to be more shoutcasting hosted by Otter, uh, I believe, on this channel. But I think he's doing just random Q. So mm -hmm. show up, queue all we together. To this again. We had a good work. showing out. Yeah, actually. it was a lot of fun. It was a yeah, lot of those fun. Those were some crazy games, too. Oh, that like Camille Flash. Uh, <laughs> yeah, best. The best. Camille Smite Steel. All right, let's go through honorable mentions and MVPs. And then there's a special little giveaway afterwards that we're going to be doing. All right. So Team Swarm, MVP honorable mention. Hmm, I'm going to give uh, honorable mention to Neb on this uh, Lee Sin. Uh, he had some good plays early. And uh, actually, sorry, I'm going to give honorable mention to Snipe Vitality because he was doing a lot of damage in these team fights, had some good plays in the bottom lane, and then uh, was doing picking up kills where he could in the team fights. Never seen Ever is going to be my MVP. I think he did. Or you never seen Ever, not follow. Never. Oh, God. But you well, must okay. Never witness. Forever. Sorry. I felt like he had the most impact in these team fights, causing a lot of problems, or not a lot of problems, but some problems for this team. And uh, yeah, so then for Team Hot Dogs, hmm, who gets honorable mention? I'm going to have honorable mention over Nong Nong on the ADC Lulu, actually, going 5 0 and 9, not dying. And uh, even though, shout outs to basically everybody in the team, Catnator, pulling out the Caitlyn jungle. Five, three, and four. Excellent ice. Doing, a, getting good advantage in mid lane and keep holding his own basically, and then Zeno being a great support on the tsunami, keeping everybody alive. But MVP is great, Mishka. Hundred percent. Twelve, two, and two. Most damage in the game. Got his early advantage against the Cho'Gath and just snowballed that to a victory for this team. Oh, just, just beautiful. Great, Mishka. Obviously, an incredibly good Yasuo. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be your MVPs and honorable mentions. Now, before we get any further, if you guys have been voting, here's what's going to go down. Um, actually, if you would, Otter, send me the first two um, straw polls. Sure. Um, Carried by AFK and Team Swarm. I have them right here. I'll put them in chat. Guys, you're gonna have to deal with the the um, camera messing up for just a second. So what we're gonna do is we've been doing 